or how to get the, the, the that live drum feel that uh, sometimes we have in our tracks. And uh, let's go to FL Studio. And the way I like to do this, as you can see, let me open FPC and let's open here uh, a kit, maybe this one. And we have snare, kick, hi-hat, So let's do a drum loop with these ones. Just a simple thing, so just to show. Let's use this one. Let's use a hi-hat. Okay, let's put this maybe at 194. That should be enough. And now... Okay, so now FL Studio is also sending uh, clock information to <laughs> TD3. So I have to now lower the volume of TD3. Sorry for that. So we have this drum loop. Doesn't sound very live, or uh, you can tell by this drum loop that this is kind of like. Um, electronic drum loop it doesn't have that that vibe of live drums the way i like to do this is with um, actually just hi-hats so what i do is most of the times i keep the kick and the snare you know and then i go and i choose and this is the key or the tip that i would like to say is to choose a plugin that gives you some live um drum kits so one one of them that i like to use is strike there's also here structure it's a really cool plugin and uh, there's also this one addictive drums too so let's open this one actually so one, one of my favorites and if i open this uh, we have a bunch of kits here and i think i'm going to uh, i don't know if i can use these ones Actually, okay, I think I can only use these two, at least for the free version. Okay, so, so this is what I'm talking about. So as you can see, this is highlighting this hi-hat and this is uh, what I like to do to get some some really cool drum feeling. So what I will do is put this here, go to a new pattern, extend this pattern here and start programming my drums or the hi-hats in this way. So let's do something like that. Let's hope I listen to everything. And we can we could also add maybe to the snare and maybe the kick also. So as you can see, we have now the drum, the electronic drums supporting the, the battery sound. You see the difference there? So let's copy all of these and maybe do some variation here at the end to make it a little bit more interesting. I like to use these open hi-hats. Let's, let's see if this sounds good. As you can see, maybe, let's see, let's see there, maybe not, maybe here, let's try these ones.
okay something like this so now we are getting uh, a different vibe a different the the live drum vibe or feel and that's basically it you just add a plugin or um, an instrument that kind of gives you some live drums stuff and then you just mostly mimic your drum loop as you can see i just created the same pattern that i did for the electronic drums here and i replicated it for the the drums for the kick and snare and then for the hi-hat i just used something like like this to give me that that uh, really cool vibe another thing that you can do is select for instance the hi-hats and start doing some different variations here in the volume to mimic what an uh, actual drummer would do because it's impossible that the drummer will play for the entire loop the same velocity so there's always variation when it comes to natural playing and you will never get the same uh, the same um, velocity or the same pressure uh, playing the the, the hi-hats or the drum or the snare for that matter so we can kind of simulate that uh, human vibe by changing the volume and a, a nice way to do that is to call this randomizer and i don't like to have the pattern because if i do the pattern you see that messes up the pattern so i disable the pattern and i just play around with the levels here so as you can see we have velocity we can also play with the panning but some plugins will not play well with the panning but you can change the velocity here and you see that already gave me a different uh, volume for for the um, or velocity for the notes i can change the seed as you can see and i can also change if i want bipolar bipolar means that it will go both up and down in terms of uh, the reference so let's see you can see that also goes a little bit up and also down so this can be a more dramatic um, effect if you don't want that much variation as you can see what you can do is just add a bipolar or remove bipolar and just do some minor or less intensive variation something like that let's accept this It might not be a big difference you might think ah, oh, that's not too much but it will make a difference uh, now let's remove the electronic drum you see that now the kick and the snare lost a little bit of energy that's why i like to combine electronic drums like like a kit from uh, from my kits or just samples i like to combine those with the actual drum loop because that gives me the power of the electronic drums and the vibe of the um, of the live drum set or the the drum set another thing that we can do is also add some um, uh, swing to give a little bit more feeling to the or swing to the track we might not listen too much because we don't have um let's go we have to go to step and maybe we can we could add something like that maybe one one this here let's go from the start that one sounded nice Let's add another one here. Maybe another one uh, here. You see now, now we are getting maybe not this one. Now we are getting some a little bit a different vibe, a more live vibe. And I really like that this part. And now it would be just a matter of adding more sounds. For instance, a crash. We have crashes here. Maybe a crash here. A little bit less volume. Maybe some toms. Let's see if I have toms here. 
I don't know if they have toms or if this kit has toms. Maybe not. Let me see. Uh, no, the toms are disabled in this one. Let me see this one. No. So as you can see, this is the free version, so it has some limitations. This one is very large. But I, I like this one here. And then you can also change, for instance, the overhead and the room mics. So this kind of lost a little bit of that vibe. So we can have different feelings for the thing. So let's take the overheads and let's add some room mics. So now we are getting that, that drum vibe. Let's add a little bit of overheads to get the hi-hats a little bit more intensive. Okay, and I think that's it. So these are some of the tools that I like to, to use when I'm trying to get that drum vibe, that drum feel, uh, that drum feeling uh, of live drums. This is usually, uh, actually, I don't use this plugin too much, the Addictive Drums too, but there's the, the, the plugin, one of the plugins that I use a lot, I can show you, is this one here, Structure, which is basically the same, is a sampled bass plugin. And I have here some drums. Let's go to acoustic. And as you can see, I have a bunch of set of plugins or presets here. Sorry, my, my English today is not that great. So let's do, let's use this one, the vintage one. And as you can see after loading, I also have, I have toms and I also have drums. And then I have the, the, um, hi-hats and also the kick and snare so this is a, a plugin that i really like to use uh, structure when i get, want that um, drum set vi vibe or feeling i don't know if that's the correct word but yeah i think as you can hear sounds really cool sounds dope it has some some really cool effects so i really recommend this addictive drums too and there's a free version for it it doesn't have too much but if you are starting out this could be a really cool plugin for you to start out and uh, start to get some some um, really cool dope uh, drum live drums in your beats